Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you eight different ways to dynamically change the uh, tab colors. So we go into sheet properties, uh, tab color, and we say if so fail, this is one way of doing it. Get active sheet ID, comma, name the delimiter, which is backslash. And the reason for that is if you, I'll show you now in a second. Uh, comment minus one so if that's equal to sheet one comment green so if we click OK you can see now that that sheet if we click on it will turn green and it's basically be, the subfield is looking at here's the formula get active sheet ID and it's document backslash sh01 so if we use the subfield, like here, equals subfield, and it's a delimiter of backslash, minus one, it will give us this. So basically saying, if the result is SH01, make it green. So if we put the sheet here, we're going to use the oil match. So again, it's just a different way of doing it. We can say, if oil match, get active sheet ID, star sh02 comma green so we click ok you can now see it's a different way but it's getting the same result so in this one we're going to say if get active sheet ID equals document backslash sh03 comma green so now you can see that that one's working as well so we're going to the fourth and we're going to use the write function so so we say Of sheet ID comma four equals SH04. So if the last four characters from the get active sheet ID is equal to SH04 comma green. Let's see now that's working. Now in this one we have a variable in this. So we're going to create control alt V, create a variable. I'm going to add, I'm going to call the variable tab, and it's going to be document backslash sh, because they all contain that, just the number changes. So if we go into sheet properties, and we say if get active sheet ID equals two, two quotes dollar tab and say zero five comma green. So basically, we're using a, a variable, and the variable for tab is picking up document backslash. SH and then 05 is finishing off the state. So we click OK. That tab will have turned green. So next one is we can use keep chair. Again, the, the, all of these are doing the same thing. It's just uh, if keep chair get active sheet ID. SH01234567891. So if it contains any of them and are equal to SH06, comma green. So again, because the sheet name 
the keep chart is basically saying we only want to keep from the get active sheet ID we only want to keep anything that contains sh and 0 to 9 and because the sheet is called sh06 and it falls within that criteria it's it's finishing off the statement again we can do the same here with the uh, porch chair so we say if if porch chair get active sheet ID comma document backslash equals sh07 comma green see that's working so now we can switch and then the final one is using the like so we say if get active sheet ID like SH0A not quite working so we're missing the star so now we've eight different ways of dynamically changing the tab color so you can see they're all changing there I hope that helps and I'll see you next video cheers